There's two different ways that you can do this problem. One is you can say that 2x plus 10 is equal to the positive x minus 3 or the opposite of the quantity x minus 3. Or you can do x minus 3 equals the positive quantity 2x plus 10 or the opposite of the quantity of 2x plus 10. We're going to do the latter. So what we're going to do is we're going to say x minus 3 equals positive 2x plus 10. And we're also going to solve x minus 3 equals the opposite of 2x plus 10. So let's go ahead and solve these two equations separately. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, let's say I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So that gives us a negative x minus 3 equals 10. I'm going to add 3 to both sides. So we get negative x equals 13. And if I multiply both sides by negative 1, you can see that x is equal to negative 13. Over here, I'm going to distribute the negative into the parentheses. So this is negative 2x minus 10 equals x minus 3. I'm going to add 2x to both sides. So that gives us 3x minus 3 equals negative 10. I'm going to add 3 to both sides. So now we have 3x is equal to negative 7. And if I divide both sides by 3, x is equal to negative 7 thirds. So those are our two solutions, negative 7 thirds or negative 13. You can check your answer by putting them in uh, both sides of the equation there, make sure that, uh, that the two sides are equal, and you got it. So two different methods for solving absolute value uh, equations involving two absolute values. If you want to review how to solve absolute value equations just in using one absolute value, check out the video that I did right there, and I'll see you over in that video. I'll talk to you soon.